So Mark, what are your thoughts after that? I think it's fair to say we did really well in the, in the first half. We created a lot of chances, um, but ultimately not c controlled the game in the second half and, and, and got the two goals they needed to, to give them the win today. Yeah, I mean, look, we've, we've opened up with some really good spells, a lot of real good efforts on goal. Uh, you know, hit the post twice, they've cleared a couple off the line. And uh, in those spells, when you play a team of Notts County's quality, you've got to make that spell pay, especially away from home. And unfortunately, we, we, we played really well without getting that breakthrough. And um, they obviously grew in confidence. They've got quality all over the pitch. We knew it was going to be a, a real tough test for us tonight, and it, it certainly was. And we probably um, didn't quite execute when we did have the ball in the second half, we were a bit wasteful when we did win the ball, which, which was a shame because in the first half you could see when we did win it back, we were a real danger and a real threat. Uh, and second half, we probably lost that little bit of threat through um, just a little bit of bad, bad technical technical elements on our, on our exit passes. And it was probably maybe we got a little bit tired, a little bit uh, confused at times where, uh, you know, they worked us really hard throughout the night. But as I said, they've got... They're, they're as good as this league's got, um, you know, make no bones about it. And um, I said, when you do have spells, you've got to make them count. Things were ultimately made harder with the absence of Josh McCoy. Can you mm. give us an update on that? Yeah, unfortunately, Josh has picked up an injury in training and um, we were sending him f for a scan. And, uh, you know, we really got fingers crossed to hope for the best of that because not only we've like lost our captain, we've also lost our vi vice captain now. And it's probably periods like that in the second half where, where you miss that, that experience to really help gel that youthful energy that we've got. Um, but look, we didn't have him out on the pitch. We 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 uh, you know gave a real good account of ourselves in, in in that first half, and probably just missed that little bit of experience in the second half. But this, this is football. This is life. Things don't always go so well. We've been cruelly uh, punished at the moment with a few a few injuries to key players. But like I said there's an opportunity for other people to grow and and get experience in, in what is a very demanding league. Well, speaking of those opportunities, we've, we've seen um, two new players come in. Can you, can you tell us a bit more about what they can offer? Yeah, look, we're indebted to QPR for giving us two players. I think it's not their first rodeo. They've had uh, some uh, experience. Um, Faisal uh, plays anywhere in midfield. He's brave and technical and good on the ball. He plays uh, you know, anywhere in midfield. And then we've got Odie, who's, a, who's predominantly a wide man attacking player. So. You know, I think they both fit into the, the mould that we, we look for our players. You know, they've got all the attributes to hopefully shine here and, and gain some good experience for themselves. Click here for the latest match highlights and click here to subscribe. Are you in with a shot? Look below for more information.